A hundred days into the Ukraine war and numbers are already showing a crazy amount of human casualties on all sides of the conflict, including civilians. It is really hard to count exact number of death toll in such a full-fledged war and still an unpleasant issue to talk about. But I think we should see those numbers to know what a catastrophic war this is. Let's have a brief look. We have already made videos on the uh, human casualties of the Russian army in Ukraine war. But considering recent comments from Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, this time we are going to talk about the casualties on the Ukrainian side. Nobody really knows how many military personnel or civilians have died and claims of casualties by government officials who may sometimes be exaggerating their figures for public relation reasons are all but impossible to verify. Though involved sides and countries publish reports which are really worrying. Russia has only once reported figures of its army death toll on 25th March, which was 1,350. This number was rejected by Ukrainian officials because they offer very high number of Russian human casualties. Based on them, more than 30,000 Russian soldiers and officers have died until now. British government estimates Russian losses at 15,000. Zelensky said this week that 60 to 100 Ukrainian soldiers and officers are dying each day in this combat with more than 500 wounded each day. But based on Russian sources, amount of Ukrainian losses reach 50,000. Even if so, number of civilian losses still overtake military personnel. Based on Ukrainian sources, just in one city, naming Mariupol, at least 20,000 civilians were killed. Ukraine's Commission on Human Rights says Russia's military has destroyed almost 38,000 residential buildings, rendering about 220,000 people homeless. Nearly 2,000 educational facilities, from kindergartens to grade schools to universities, have been damaged. WHO has counted nearly 300 attacks on hospitals, ambulances, and medical workers in Ukraine. Ukrainian officials say that before the February invasion, Russia controlled some 7% of Ukrainian territory, including Crimea, which Russia annexed in 2014. But recently, Zelensky said that Russia now controls like 20% of the country. We pray for immediate ceasefire though many important actors have huge interest in continuation of this war so it seems that it will unfortunately go on for a while and more people and civilians will die because of the competition between some leaders thanks for watching if you like this video please subscribe and write your opinion down in the comments